Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Been getting a lot of questions lately about our tablet setup, what tablet we're running, what app we're running. Uh, I think it catches people live when they see it in the videos. So I wanna make a video going over that, kind of talking about what it is, what it does, and what it doesn't do. The app we're running is called the Agama Car Launcher. It's A-G-A-M-A. -A. It's available on the Play Store. Unfortunately, it's not available for iOS, so for you guys running iPads, it's not gonna be an option for you. Um, but we're running Android tablets, and it works well for us. So again, Agama Car Launcher, A-G-A-M-A. -A. So let's take a look at the app. Let's see what it does. Let's see how I use it functionality-wise. And uh, I don't know, maybe it'll help you. So here's our tablet. Uh, I got the Can-Am logo in the middle. And this is kind of the setup. So if you look closely, you got a Wi-Fi signal up here. It's going to tell you when you're connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, you got a little satellite picture that's telling you currently how many satellites it is connected to. The more it's connected to, the more accurate your information is going to be. I do also have the date up top and some weather information up in the top right hand side. From there, if you pay attention, you basically got three buttons on each side. Um, those buttons you can customize to set up or say whatever you want. You could change the icons, you could pick from a bunch of different preloaded stuff. Um, Basically, what those buttons are doing, you're linking each button to an app that's on the tablet. So if you pay attention on the left side, I got music, GPS, rock lights. On the right side, I have cameras, torque. Torque's only there temporarily because I use that in the bus when we go on trips. And then you have apps. Apps is just a quick way to uh, access all the stuff that's, uh, that's on the tablet. But you can link it to whatever you want. If you use Spotify, you download playlists from Spotify, you can link your music button to Spotify. Um, you know, for GPS, if you use, um, you know, I use Lifetime Trail Maps. If you, whatever you use, honestly, there's hundreds of options out there and it seems like everyone kind of likes their own little thing. But whatever you use, you can link it to it. Uh, rock lights, I have that set up right now to where you just hit the button, you can control those. That's kind of self-explanatory. Cameras. On the front and the rear of the machine, I have 12 volt Wi-Fi cameras. So basically what that means is you supply it with power and the camera broadcasts its own Wi-Fi signal. So the camera broadcasts the Wi-Fi signal, you connect to Wi-Fi on the tablet, and then you got your feed. So if you pull that up, that's actually the front bumper on my Honda Talon right now, staring at my son's dirt bike. Um, you hit the other button, it'll switch to the rear. To me, this is one of my favorite things about it. Um, a lot of times you just did some super gnarly hill climb, you don't really know what's on the other side, and you gotta jump out and look. With this, I could just pull up my camera, see it right away, and it helps me anticipate you know, how I'm gonna take that. Uh, backup camera's obvious, you can't see crap backing up in these things, and sometimes it's nice just to be able to see what you're gonna hit, or not hit, or try not to hit. Um, rock lights show you that real quick you know what let's show gps so for gps i use lifetime trail maps you click that button it automatically opens up your app and you're ready to go you can also do a split screen on these samsung tablets where you can keep your gps on one side and then your music or whatever on the other side however you want to set it up i think that's the thing that i like most about um, the Androids is that you can kind of customize it. iPads definitely have their place. The reason that I didn't go with an iPad, to be honest with you, is to get your GPS functionality out of the iPads, you have to buy a cellular version of the iPad. iPads are already pretty expensive to begin with. I'm taking this thing off road, I'm getting it muddy, I'm getting it dirty. To add the added cost of a cellular option, I just, it's not worth it. Now, it is important to note that even though you have to have the cellular tablet, you are not required to have a cellular plan. And the reason for that is the cellular tablets on the iPads have that GPS chip. The Wi-Fi only models do not. On the Samsungs, they all come with the GPS chip. So even when you're outside, even when you get no cell signal, you can't connect to your phone, you got no Wi-Fi, you're out in the mountains, whatever, it's going to be linking to these satellites. So you're getting your, your GPS. It's always going to be accurate. Um, I started actually started off with an iPad mini and I lost it and when I went to replace it I just couldn't justify the cost happy I did honestly I'm happy with the Android works fine so I'm gonna show you a couple things on the Talon because a lot of these things I don't have on the Can-Am yet so you could see I have my rock lights and there's my rock light at now let's see what happens I pull it up it's already connected there are some quirks with the rock lights it doesn't want to work in portrait mode but whatever we'll make it work so you got all your options there i can dim it and do a bunch of stuff there um 
super cool. Let's see, bring it back this way. And there you go. Um, we love it. You know, honestly, it works well for me. Now that's kind of the pros and the good things that it does, but let's talk about what it doesn't do. It does not get any vehicle information. Um, you can, the middle here where I have Can-Am, you can customize that any way you want. You could bring up GPS there, you could bring up mapping software, uh, you could put any image you want, you could do whatever. You can also do a Speedo, which a lot of times I do a Speedo. I got 32s on the Talon, it kind of throws the uh, stock speedometer off a little bit, and I just like the location of this. Um, it's important to note that it's not getting that speed information from the vehicle at all. It's getting them from those satellites. That's where it's getting the information from. There's no vehicle information that's gonna be on here. Everything that it does, every way that it connects is gonna be through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. A lot of the aftermarket accessories for the side-by-sides nowadays are using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so it works fine for me, honestly. Um, and there's so much other stuff you could do. If you've got a sound bar, you just connect Bluetooth to your tablet. Um, you know, there, all your rock lights, just so much stuff. It, everything's Bluetooth. So, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. A Gamma car launcher. If you guys got any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. I find it super useful. It's really cool for the off-road world. I love the ability to be able to customize it and really set it up however I want. Um, and honestly, the more I mess with it, the more I like it. It's just super, super useful. Highly recommend it. I really feel like you can't go wrong. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Um, I would like to take a minute to thank all of our new subscribers. It is really cool to kind of see the channel grow. Really hoping to see, or really excited to see what it could possibly become. So if you guys did or have recently subscribed, I definitely appreciate it. And if you guys are enjoying the content, you like Can-Ams, you wanna see what we're gonna do with ours, uh, think about subscribing because we're still gonna do lots. This thing is still pretty much new. And I keep saying that because we haven't had time to ride. This is actually start of spring break. We were supposed to go on a trip and we had to cancel. But we got a trip coming next month to Hatfield and McCoy in West Virginia, which is our absolute favorite place to ride. So the wife's super excited. We finally get to break this thing in um, and actually have some fun with it. We got it all set up for her. I got the lower doors, the roof, the windshield, all that good stuff. Tablet mount, obviously. <laughs> um, still have yet to do a radio for this thing. Try to stick with the basics to begin with, but we'll get there. The Talon, we just got it back from far off road. Got our new custom cage on there, which I think turned out sick. We got the roof up here. Still need to send that off to powder. We're gonna do go black with the roof. Um, but yeah, that's it. Super excited for riding season. Let's get it. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.